has a taste, he has a flavour. I can eat on the move, it's very convenient. A piping hot meal is always a welcome treat and it helps to boost the morale of the troops. Chefs recognise us and whip up a variety of mouth-watering dishes even during overseas deployment when operational conditions allow. New meal boxes keep food warm for a longer period of time, so troops can tuck into a warm meal. But fresh rations may not always be possible. When troops spend days in the field during training or operations and fresh rations are not available, fuel rations are the alternative option. Fuel rations are designed to sustain and enhance the operational effectiveness of troops in all environmental conditions. The servicemen need sufficient energy and nutrition to optimize their physical and mental performance. The fuel ration provides a balanced diet. While the entree may be eaten straight from the retort pouch, it can also be heated when operational conditions allow. Fast to cook, good to eat. Fuel rations now weigh less. At 1.5 kilograms, it is 300 grams lighter than before. In the 70s or 80s, the combat ration are basically all canned food. We used to carry um, those uh, big beans and uh, sardine cans. It's cumbersome and, uh, and it uh, weighs down the men uh, during training, especially. So I prefer the new combat ration because it has a lot of variety. Compared to the old one, I'm limited to breast chicken and sardine, that's all. Items in the accessory pack have been selected to complement each entree and to provide the necessary nutrition. New fuel ration menus are introduced at least once a year. This is a result of the joint efforts between HQ Supply and Transport, DESTA and Singapore Food Industry. On a frequent basis, we gather to discuss, brainstorm and evaluate new fuel ration there are various considerations in the planning and development of fuel ration menus. The nutritional content of the fuel rations must meet the dietary requirements of the servicemen. Uh, we also provide a wide variety of recipes so as to uh, um, prevent menu fatigue. It needs to meet the required uh, shelf life and that the product is stable over time in the field. The volume and the weight of the fuel ration is also important. This is to ensure that the final package is not too heavy or large to carry that it will hinder the serviceman movement in the field. This is the place where field rations are produced. The production line of the Singapore Food Industries has the mammoth task of fueling the fighting energy of the SAF. Every part of the production, from the filling line to the automated dispensing machine, runs like clockwork. The production line churns out, on average, six to 8,000 retort pouches a day. The retort pouches are sterilized in a processing chamber. A temperature of about 121 degrees Celsius, coupled with high pressure, cooks the food in about 40 to 50 minutes. To ensure the quality of the fuel rations, quality assurance officers from DSTA conduct stringent checks at various stages of the production. This check includes uh, physical checks, um, sensory evaluations and laboratory tests. In physical check, we assess the packaging, labelling, weight of pouches and components used for packing. For sensory evaluations, we assess the product in terms of taste, texture and appearance. A samples of the retort pouches are subjected to incubation tests by independent laboratory to ensure that the food is safe for consumption. The Singapore Food Industries has implemented a quality management system in accordance with the requirements of ISO certification for the production of fuel rations. Also in place is hazard analysis at critical control points of the production. 
Food tasting sessions and feedback are gathered from service personnel before a decision is made on what new menus are added. For this year, we are developing new dishes such as potato chicken stew, uh, teriyaki chicken pasta, and lo mai gai. Enhanced quality, variety and nutritional value of fuel rations will certainly boost the combat effectiveness of our troops.